in yet another in a string of short and to the point videos, I am going to answer three questions. Question number one, can I share my GMRS call sign? B, who am I allowed to share my GMRS call sign with? And number four, how do I share my GMRS call sign? So allow me to begin with number one, am I allowed? Are you allowed to share your GMRS call sign with other people? And it is at this point in the video where the average YouTuber would say, yes, bro, you can share your GMRS call sign, bro, bro, just trust me. However, I am very clearly not an average YouTuber. So being the superior YouTuber that I am, I will instead read to you what the FCC's rules say about sharing your GMRS license. What I have here before me in my formerly chocolate stained fingers is FCC rule part 95.1705 section C subsection two. And it says, any individual who holds an individual license may allow his or her immediate family members to operate his or her GMRS station or stations. Allow me to explain what this means in normal person language. This means that yes, you may legally share your GMRS license and the rule specifies that you may share it with your immediate family. Now, if you have ever read about this subject, the subject of sharing your license with your family online in the online forums, you have no doubt seen much confuculation over exactly who your immediate family is. But to become deconfoculated, one must simply continue reading the very rule that I just read. Which goes on to say, immediate family members are the licensees, spouse, children, grandchildren, stepchildren, parents, grandparents, stepparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and in-laws. And to deconfoculate and clarify even further, section 95.1743 goes on to give more specifics about sharing your GMRS license with children. FCC rules part 95.1743 reads, operators under the age of 18 will not be held personally responsible pursuant to section 95.343 for improper operation of a GMRS repeater or base station. The holder of the individual license under which the minor operates is solely responsible for any improper operation that occurs while an individual under the age of 18 is operating the station. So this means that if your kid does something stupid while using your GMRS license, you are responsible for whatever mayhem and destruction your kid causes. And finally, the most important question, I told you this video would be short. And to the point, how do I go about sharing my GMRS license? What steps must one take to share their license with someone else and allow them to use it? But first, another warning. If you ask this question online, some people will grossly overcomplicate the answer, making it far more confoculating than it has to be. So allow me to read what the FCC says, and then as usual, I will explain it in plain person, English. FCC rules part 95.1751 reads as follows. Each GMRS station must be identified by transmission of its FCC assigned call sign at the end of transmissions and at periodic intervals 
during transmissions, except as provided in paragraph C of this section. A unit number may, may be included after the call sign identification. What this means is, is that when your child or spouse or in-law is sharing your GMRS call sign, they simply announce the call sign just like you do. For example, when you are using your call sign at the end of a transmission on your GMRS radio, you would say, this is WXYZ1234. And when your family member is sharing your GMRS call sign at the end of their transmission, they would say, this is WXYZ1234. Even if you are both talking to each other, you both just very simply say your call sign. Optionally, as mentioned in the FCC rule that I read just a moment ago, a unit number like two or Bravo may also optionally be used after or at the end of the transmission. For example, this is WXYZ1234 unit two. However, this is optional and is only required if you want to sound like a dork. Because remember, the most important thing is that nobody is monitoring the GMRS airwaves and listening for you to announce your call sign or logging it or writing it down. I should say, nobody that matters is monitoring the GMRS airwaves and listening for your call sign or writing it down. Because according to the FCC's enforcement database, which publicly lists every enforcement action that the FCC has ever taken against anyone, as of today, according to that database, the FCC does not care about any of this.